I've been spending a little bit of time in America lately and the Americans take their fried chicken very seriously. And I've been testing a few different recipes and I found the perfect one. I think it's all about the spices. So in a bowl, what we need to do is add a combination of five different spices. Coriander powder is a must for me. Some onion powder, and I use onion powder, which you can get from all your supermarkets because it's got a really concentrated onion flavour and it's slightly salty too and some smoked paprika, there's a tablespoon and a half of that. So a good amount in there. I'm just going to keep about half a teaspoon because I want to use this in my mayonnaise for later. And half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So it's going to make it a little bit spicy. And some white pepper. We need a little bit of sugar, so half a teaspoon of caster sugar. Perfect. And we need some salt, so a pinch of salt in there. So this is essentially our chicken spice rub. So let's just mix that with our hands. And then I'm going to add three quarters of this into a shallow bowl because we're going to marinate it twice. So you only need a little bit in one glass bowl and the rest goes in here along with the flowers. Now we've got corn flour. I use a combination of corn flour, about 90 grams to one cup of plain flour. And I like the combination of both because it gives us a really nice, light, crunchy batter. So once we've added that, again, with a spoon, oh, I've got a little whisk here, we're just going to mix that up and we're going to reserve that for later. So we're going to use this at the last minute after the chicken has been marinating. So pop that to the side. And let's get on to the chicken. So, using some baking paper, we want two pieces, two long pieces here. And I'm using chicken thigh. Now, I like to use chicken thigh because it's got loads of flavour. You can absolutely use chicken breast for this. Just make sure that you cut them in half so they're not too thick. Now, with these chicken thighs, the bone's been removed and the skin's been removed too, but you can see how it's not even. It's thicker on this side of the chicken and thinner here. We want it to cook evenly, so we need to flatten it out and I think using a bit of baking paper like this is the best option. So I'm just going to line them up and it's just easier to do it all on one. That's why you want a nice big long piece. Another piece goes on top and just with a meat mallet, we're just going to pound it out until it's nice and thin. So that was quite therapeutic and the chicken is beautiful and thin. So now with the rest of that spice rub, we're just going to put that all over the chicken on each side. So we're just seasoning it here, turn it over, all right, last little bits on there, perfect. And now let's get on to the buttermilk. So buttermilk fried chicken is the ultimate. I love it. It also tenderizes the chicken too. So we've got some buttermilk here. I also like to add two whole eggs to this. So we're just going to crack that straight into the buttermilk. One and a second one here. So use free range when possible, of course. And with a whisk, I'll just take off that flour. We're going to whisk our eggs into our buttermilk, give it a good whisk so it's nicely combined. And now what we do is add our chicken and you can see that that spice rub is completely stuck to the chicken pieces. You want to coat it and the last two in there. Now I'm going to get this into the fridge, it'll marinate for about half an hour and then we can start our mayonnaise. So this is not just any type of mayonnaise, this is going to be a capsicum mayonnaise. So in my blender, I'm going to add some char grilled capsicum. Now I use the ones that are in the jar, use a good quality one. I like the flavour of this, it's smoky, it's soft, it's really, really sweet. So I'm going to use about two here and I'm just going to roughly chop it and that goes straight in along with some vinegar. Now I've got some sherry vinegar here. I've got about a tablespoon of sherry vinegar and a pinch of salt. And now I'm just going to blitz this until we have almost like a really smooth puree of this capsicum. OK, 
Okay, so that only takes 30 seconds, but have a look at how smooth this puree is. You don't need to sieve it or anything. And that colour is the best. This flavour is so good. Even that just over chicken is fantastic. But it is quite sweet and smoky at this stage, so I just want to smooth it out with some mayonnaise. So use good quality whole egg mayonnaise or make it yourself. And we want a few tablespoons of that into our blender along with the remaining smoked paprika and just to freshen the whole thing up a little bit of lemon. So the juice of well, these are very juicy so probably about half of this goes in there. I'm going to blitz it again and then I'll have a taste. the most beautiful chicken you've ever seen. Look at it. It is like popcorn. Crunchy on the outside. It's all kind of wrinkled. And just to have a look, it just falls off there and it's, oh, the crunchiest batter you've ever had. That is so good. All right, let's make one of these sandwiches. So I've just got ciabatta bread here and I've just warmed it up in the microwave. I think that's a great idea because it softens it up really nicely. Here's our capsicum sauce and be generous with it. I hate sandwiches that don't have sauce on it. It needs a lot of sauce. So on the base and then on the top also, I'm gonna, going to keep it really, really simple. We're going to add one of our chicken pieces there and some lettuce too. So just iceberg. Iceberg, you can't go wrong with a sandwich like this because so crunchy and just tear it apart. I'm going to add that on the top there. And the good old gherkin. You could use dill gherkins for this or classic plain ones, even some cornichon. And then the lid goes on. Oh, this is probably my favourite sandwich this year. I love sandwiches, but this one is so good because it's so crunchy and you can see that sauce oozing. There are no other words. I'm just going to eat this in peace. Mm. Mm. 